the series products of vitamin test kit operation video. Take out the vitamin test kit from the refrigerator before use. Sample preparation. Weigh out 1 gram homogeneous milk powder sample to a 50 milliliter sterilized centrifuge tube. The sample size can be increased or decreased according to the vitamin content in the sample. Add 40 milliliter sterile water or dionized water to the centrifuge tube, which contains the sample. Please note, the sterile water here needs to be prepared, and the one in the kit should not be used. Vortex to mix the sample well. Then extract the sample in the 95 degrees Celsius water bath for 30 minutes. To ensure heating uniformly, the liquid level of the water bath shall be flush with the liquid level of the sample and should not exceed the centrifuge tube. Make sure the centrifuge tube is sealed and mix it every 10 minutes. Rotate the mixture gently, not flip over the mixture to prevent liquid leakage. Take out the sample after 30 minutes and cool it down to 30 degrees Celsius rapidly. Cooling can ensure the accuracy of follow-up sample pipetting. This action cannot be omitted. Dilute the sample in the clean bench. Dilution factor calculation. Using reasonable dilution factor can ensure the sample concentration falls within the standard curve and ensure the accuracy of the test. Dilution factor can be calculated by taking the concentration of the sample divide by standard 2. Mix the sample first. Then filter it with 0.22 micrometer sterilized filter and collect the filtrate. Dilution process follow the arrow to open the cap of the sterile water bottle. Take off the cap and place it upright. Calculate the usage amount of sterile water and add it to a 2 milliliter sterile centrifuge tube. Then vortex to mix the filtrate well. Add proper amount of filtrate into the centrifuge tube. For a 400 full dilution, Please proceed in a gradient of 10 full dilution, plus 10 full dilution plus 4 full dilution. After completing each dilution, please vortex to mix the sample well to guarantee the accuracy of dilution. Each dilution step needs to be thoroughly mixed before the next dilution. Diluted samples must be freshly prepared just before use. To avoid the contamination, the whole dilution process should be operated by the encircling method. Keep in mind that the dilution process should not be operated directly above the sample. Standards Preparation Take six sterilized centrifuge tubes. Open the cap of the standard vial, place it upright. Add X milliliter sterile water provided by kit to the standard vial. Cover the cap and vortex the standard to ensure it fully dissolved. This is the standard stock solution. X milliliter is listed on the label of the standard vial. According to the standard preparation table in the product manual, add sterile water provided by kit to each centrifuge tube. According to the standard preparation table in the product manual, add standard stock solution to each centrifuge tube, which contains sterile water. Vortex and mix well to complete the preparation of standards. Standards must be freshly prepared just before use. Please note, higher temperature environment may make standards degrade. Avoid placing standards too close to alcohol burner. Medium preparation. Open the cap of medium bottle, place it upright. Use sterilized tweezers to remove desiccant and discard. Take 10 ml sterile water provide by kit to the medium bottle. Then close the cap tightly and vortex to mix well. Mix the medium until it is clear. Fix the medium bottle by using floating plate and place it in the 95 degrees Celsius water bath for 5 minutes. Shake the medium bottle at least once with the cap fully sealed. Take out the medium after 5 minutes and cool it down rapidly to reach room temperature. Then the medium preparation is completed. Inocula preparation. The following process should be operated in the clean bench. Vortex to mix the medium well first. Then use 0.22 micrometer sterilized filter to filter the medium. Collect the filtrate to a 50 milliliter sterilized centrifuge tube. Follow the arrow to open the cap of the assay strain bottle. 
place the rubber plug upright. Add 1 ml sterile water provided by kit and pipette, up and down, to mix well. According to label of the strain bottle, take proper amount of strain to the filtrate medium. Vortex to mix well. Please note, if large volume of medium is lost during the preparation, the amount of strain should be reduced in a proportional ratio. Disinfect the clean bench after inoclua preparation. Adding samples. The following process should be operated in the clean bench. Place the appropriate number of microwls on the microwl holder. To avoid the contamination, push out the microwls from the back. Place the remaining test microwls back into the aluminum bag and seal well. Add 140 microliter of standard or sample to the wells. Then add 140 microliter of inocula to the each well in order. Rinse pipette tips using standards or sample solution before pipetting. Then use reverse pipetting method for pipetting to improve work efficiency and guarantee uniformity. The mixed inocula can be poured into a sterile regent reservoir. Add the mixed inocula to each microwl with an 8 channel pipette. Cover the plate after adding the mixed inocula. Flatten the cover film by hand or tongue depressor to ensure the air tightness of the cover film and microwls. Make sure that microwls are completely sealed with the cover film. Otherwise, the air will enter the medium and change the amount of dissolved oxygen, which will affect the growth of the strain. At last, clean and disinfect the clean bench. Incubation Incubate the microwls at 37 degrees C for 44 to 48 hours and avoid light exposure. Please note, please read OD values using the microplate reader immediately after incubation. Otherwise, microwls can be stored at 4 degrees Celsius for no more than 48 hours before reading. Read and calculation. Take out microwls from the incubator. To prevent the strain from sinking in the bottom, gently tap the plate back and forth to mix the inocula. The mixing should be gently reversed without drastic shaking to avoid generating bubbles, which will affect the accuracy of the reading. Then, fix microwls on the microwl holder with one hand and remove the cover film from the top right corner with the other hand. If there are bubbles, use the pipette tip or the firm tip to puncture. If a large number of bubbles are generated, they can be sucked out with a pipette and be careful not to suck the inocula. Read the turbidity using a microplate reader with 610 to 630 nanometer or 540 to 550 nanometer filter.